Right, um, we've been trying to learn how to factorize cubic um, expressions and equations using different methods. And on this video, we're going to show you how do you factorize a cubic using the concept of monkeys eat apples plus bananas. Very, very exciting and innovative uh, method that we came up with. Right. So before we even get there, it's very important for you to understand something. Number one, every cubic expression is in the form, right? It's in this form. It's in the form um, ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d, right? Every cubic expression is in this form. That's the first thing we need to understand. The other thing we need to understand is that when you are actually factorizing a cubic, you're going to get three factors, right? You're going to get the first factor, you're going to get the second factor, and you're also going to get the third factor. So we are looking for three factors. We know that this is true because the highest exponent on any cubic expression is a three. So we're expecting to get three factors. Sometimes they repeat, but that's not the point at the moment. We just know that they have to be three in total, right? Okay, cool. So how does the process of um, monkeys eat apples plus bananas work? So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to say, okay, let that uh, expression that we need to factorize be f of x. So let f of x be x cubed minus 3x squared minus 13x plus 15, right? Now, as it is with all the other concepts, what you need to do is you're going to use trial and error to find the first factor, which is as good as saying it's trial and error via our guessing, right? So you guess an x value here that will give you a factor Right, the first one. So that is actually a number that you will substitute for x such that when you plus this in your calculator, you get an answer of zero. Right, you're looking for something. We can type here, or we can substitute here for x, and then it should produce an answer of exactly zero. Right. So let's check what's going to happen if you try one. If you try one, if one is not working, you try minus one. If it's not working, you try two. If it's not working, you try minus two. You look for the number until you find one that will produce an answer of zero. Right. That will mean it's producing a remainder of zero. So I'm going to put one here. Let's see. When we sub one, what happens? If I sub one here, that's going to be one, right? And one plus 15 is going to give you 16. This is going to be minus 13 and minus three, which is also minus 16. So it turns out that when you sub one, you're going to get an answer of zero. Therefore, the conclusion is that X minus one is a factor, right? X minus one is a factor when one is a root. Please be careful of that. So that means I found my first factor, it is actually x minus 1. Now, to continue here, to continue here, I'm now going to apply the concept of monkeys eat apples plus bananas. This is how it works. Very, very nice. So what you simply do is you literally divide your uh, x minus 1 into that x cubed minus 3x squared expression, right? So I'm going to write this. I'm going to say that x cubed minus 3x squared minus 13x plus 15, we literally, literally divide this x minus 1 into that. We divide it like that, right? So what you do is this. This is what you do. When you're dividing this, right, you're going to take the first term and divide with the first term on that one there. So it's x cubed divided by x. The first one divided by the first one. So when you do x cubed divided by x, you're going to simply get x squared, right? Now the middle term, we don't know the middle term. We don't know the middle term. So I'm going to call that the monkey term. So we don't know what's going to come here. It's going to be mx, right? That m term there is the one that you don't know the value of, right? So number one divided by number one gives you x squared. And then the middle term, we don't know what that is. Then you go to the last one, you know, 15 divided by minus one. So 15 divided by minus one gives you minus 15, which I'm going to put there, right? And then I should be finished with this because now I know my uh, x cubed divided by x gives me x squared. 15 divided by minus 1 gives me minus 15. We don't know the middle term. That's the monkey term, which we're going to work out with monkeys eat equals plus bananas. And then the last one here that I need, the last one here is this factor that we found a long time ago. So I can just come and slaughter it here as part of my f of x. So you'll agree with me that once we know what m is, then we're done with this factorization. Right. Now, according to our knowledge, monkeys... Eat apples plus bananas, right? So this is where the magic comes in. Monkeys eat apples plus bananas. Now, in order for me to write my A value and my B value, I'm just going to come to my cubic, my cubic expression. That's where A and B come from. Because we agreed that any cubic expression has this defining equation. AX cubed, BX squared, CX and D. 
So the a and the b are just simply the coefficient of the x cubed term as well as the x squared term. So my a is 1 and my b is minus 3. So I'm going to substitute them here. Where I see a, I'm going to sub that 1 here. We still need to know what the value of p is. We'll explain that now. now. And our b value comes from there as well and it happens to be uh, minus 3. Right. And then once you've got those, then oh, your p value, your p value, because we know a and b come from the cube. But where does p come from? Well, the p comes from this root here. Whatever you were substituting when you were doing your trial and error, that root you were substituting there when you're doing your trial and error is your p value. So my p value is 1 according to this. So I'm also going to substitute 1 for p. Now 1 times 1 is 1. That 1 minus 3 gives you an answer of negative 2. So our monkey is negative 2. So I'm going to take that minus 2 and substitute it there where I see m. That means now my cubic will simply be x squared, right, minus 2x minus 15 multiplied by x minus 1. Now this quadratic that you see here can be factorized further and then our final answer will then simply be um, x minus 5 into x plus 3 into x minus 1 because x minus 5 and x plus 3 are simply factors of this x squared minus 2x minus 15 and that will be how you use monkeys eat a plus plus bananas to factorize a cubic expression.